Do you hear that? It's the drums of war. I've basically been slapped in the face with a gauntlet. I challenge you to a duel. Someone has demanded satisfaction. Any guesses? Any guesses who that is? Hmm, well. I may have started it. For a bit of a recap for those of you who are late to the party, the King of Random made a Bob Ross painting out of puddings. They even referenced me in the video as someone who does a lot of Bob Ross stuff. I put down the gauntlet and said that's my thing! I didn't invent it, but I do it l the loudest, so I sh I'm, I'm pretty sure that counts for something. <laughs> a couple of days ago, King of Random put out this video. He's done several Bob Ross style things, so... Several? Several Bob, I do several Bob Ross things, do I? He watched ours and angrily was upset that we were infringing on his Angrily? I'm, I'm angry, am I? In Playful Retaliation, I had a different artistic project I've been wanting to do. Now I'm gonna link in the description to this video to their creation where they used Skittles to essentially make a pixel art of yours truly. And in the spirit of Playful Retaliation, I'm gonna take this battle one step further and uh, I'm gonna paint with Skittles. But please go watch King of Random's video. I was blown away by how they use the Skittles to create a portrait. It's a really fun video, but it's time to put aside the niceties and continue this facade of anger. Anger. <laughs> you know, the worst part about the artwork that the King of Random made is that I have only failed, genuinely failed and given up on one artwork I've ever attempted. And that was candy art. And they made me look so bad. <laughs> Their candy art and my candy art. Even pixelating it couldn't save them. <laughs> I really am scared of attempting candy art. They hit me where it hurts people. Here is my theory of how I can paint with Skittles. Got a little container of water here. Let's just grab some, uh, I'm gonna go with green. Immediately you can see it actually coloring the water. That, that was quicker than I expected. Let's put in more green. Look at that. That is, uh, that, oh, I'm just gonna let this one rinse for ages while I meticulously divide a lot more Skittles. Let's do it. And that is the last of them. Let's test out this sugar juice to see if it's uh, paintable. I'm just gonna grab a brush and, and see if it's gonna work to just paint from here. Oh my God. I mean, that, that sort of works. We've got some pretty dark pigmentation in here and I'm wondering if with some darker Skittles, if we mix it in a bit. Well, in fact, let's have a play right now, shall we? It's mixed in a little bit of the red. I think that what, what that tells me is I need, need to give it time to properly soak in. But is this dry? Ah, uh, no. Whoa, whoa, there, you see the little bubbles there? That was, that was the sugar burning. So don't, don't do that. Now the real question is, can I add another layer on top? Pretty much, but I think I'm learning a couple of things from this. One, I can treat this like watercolors. I can sort of layer in my colors. But two, this stuff gets janky when you leave it for too long. And I think I'm probably gonna want a sweet spot in the middle. Get it? Sweet spot. Skittles, sugar. Yeah. Boo. I'm gonna be following in the footsteps of King of Random. They did a, a very kind portrait of yours truly. It was very well done. I'm gonna return the favor and do a portrait of Nate and Callie from King of Random. I've got a medium. Don't know if it's gonna be any good, but it's gonna be fun to try. Can't believe that actually worked. It never works. I always hit my teeth. We're off to a good start. The King of Random did a very cool, realistic portrait of yours truly. However, anyone who watches my content knows that realism isn't my best thing. I can make attempts at it, but you know, 
it's not my strongest talent, but cartoons and characters are. So I thought I'd create a couple of cartoon avatars for Nate and Callie. First, finding a reference from a still frame of their channel intro, and then working from that to create my piece, starting with the TKOR logo, TKOR, is that, he's supposed to say, no, it's short for the king of random. But every time I see it, I want to say decor. Doesn't make sense, but anyway. Moving on to seeing if I could create the likeness of the hosts standing behind it. When I was happy with the sketch, it was time for some ink, but I was already outside of my comfort zone in the sense that, I mean, I don't know if Skittle smears ink or reacts in any way. I, I had to test to be sure. So I made some smear tests with some of my go-to pens and found that, yes, one of them did indeed smear with Skittles. Who'd have known? So I put the working ones to work on the outlines and ink of the characters. <laughs> All right, I've got my, well, I say portrait loosely, it's more of a caricature. I'm not one for realism, but I thought, you know what, might as well just do it in my style. So here it is. So on the left we have Nate, on the right we have Callie, both in their epic poses from the intro on their channel. So as you can see, oh my word, it really has saturated the water with our with our uh, food coloring. I need a skin tone for these, these peeps. So I, I guess I'll just do it the way I'd normally would. Bit of red, touch of orange, touch of yellow, maybe a maybe a bit of whatever this is. That's not bad. It's sort of peachy, and if I go down light and then layer it on top as it gets thicker, oh my god, that's like weirdly good. We're in business, baby. Start off with one light coat. I want to go for a really uh, even aesthetic. I want it to look like a well thought out, well executed artwork. Boo do do, boo do boo, boo do boo do boo, boo boo do boo. Boo -doo -boo. Can you tell I've watched Hamilton recently? <laughs> Oh my God, that's amazing. So I'm gonna just go through and do the rest. We've got like darker shirts and sunglasses and then their hair is just sort of like a little warmer. Hers is a, has a little bit of uh, orange in it and then his is a little more on the brown side. So I think if I mix like a brown first and make some different versions, I think it's gonna be mostly like this color. Bit of red, and mix in a little bit of green. I just stop doing that. Right off the bat, not bad. He's got a little bit of blonde in his hair too, so I'm just gonna uh, bring in a touch of yellow. Just mix that in up here. Got a bit of blending, skittle blending as I like to call it. Ah, I can't rest my hand on the paper because it's like straight up glue. But, oh my God! I mean, dude, this is cool. Like this is working really well. So I'm gonna mix a new color. I've got my brown. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this over to the side and I'm gonna mix in a bunch of orange and this is gonna be Callie's hair. All right, that's the hair finished off there, or at least the first layer. Oh, I've got to do the eyebrows. Just put in a little. Ah, no, too much, too much, too much. Okay, it's a good medium. It, it lifts up if you catch it quick. This <laughs> is weirdly effective. Just also weirdly sticky. They were both my nicknames in high school. <laughs> All right, cool. Good first layer. So I'm getting sort of like a weird accidental cool gradient shift thing happening on the shirt. That's sort of cool. I'm also noticing if I tilt the mix, the deepest dregs 
sort of reveal themselves. Go in there and get the darkest pigments. Put that straight down. We're nearly done the first layer, but as you can see, we've got that pooling that was happening. It is just resting very heavily in certain places. I'm just gonna try doing this. Ooh. Okay, not bad. All right, cool. Layer one. Let's give it a lot of time before we move on to layer two. I'm gonna be standing here for a while, so. Ooh, pelvis cam. Check it out. Da 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 da! That's all I have the patience to to hit with a heat gun yet, but it looks so wet. I'm hoping like the gelatin and the sugar are like gonna hold it together, but I'm gonna go in and do the second layer now. So let's just hope for the best. I'm gonna start off with uh, maybe a little bit of a light effect. I'm gonna just grab a bit of yellow, go around the edge here. Gonna give a bit of a golden glow to the edge of these characters and make them look like they're standing facing the sunrise. Tomorrow is a day that brings more randomness than you will ever know. That's layer two done. I don't think I can get more densely colored than I have in the top here. And as you can see, it still pulls a bit. I'm just gonna leave it. I think that it's a bit of a gradient-esque feel to it, which is cool. So now let's move on to bringing the whole thing together. I'm gonna start off by finalizing the, uh, the props here. And you'll notice the barrier that we have is Again, color. I mean, the, the, these are steel and we don't have anything gray or with a hint of blue. So I've got to work with what I got. And I think the way to do this is going to be to treat these as purely reflective surfaces. And as you can see with the glasses, we've got the top of the glasses reflecting the yellow light as it is also in other areas of Nate and Callie. And at the bottom, I put in some red. So I'm just going to work with that. I'm going to, I'm going to get my yellow. I'm going to do the top areas of the wrench thing. Now I'm gonna move on to the red. Fortunately, the way we've done this and the way we've mixed colors is we don't have any real flat areas of red or yellow except for as lighting. So that's worked out pretty nicely. So solid red on the bottom half to reflect whatever the lighting is coming up from underneath that we're pretending is there. I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. That's pretty good. I think that works all right. It's minimalist. It's sort of suggestive. No, not like suggestive, but suggestive of light. So now I'm going to add a bit of a cool splat effect behind them and I'm gonna do this with green because I haven't used this except for to mix into to create the brown but the green is nicely gonna contrast with everything we've got and it's our only cool color. What's the most effective way to get the goopiest bits of this? Maybe if I pour out the green and just keep all the dregs. In fact, let's get this nice and goopy. Dip into the muck, dab it off a bit and then just yeah, there we go. Yeah, that works pretty well, actually. And because it's nicely messy, it hides other random mistakes, like that one there. I'll just go, there you go. So I'm gonna do the same for the yellow. Get straight to the goopy. Make it even draggier. It's not a, that's not a word. Oh, this is some potent sugar juice. That was also my nickname in high school. All right, let's get some yellow dabs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, last but not least, the thing that's going to really bring this whole thing together is peel off this outside. Oof, this is weirdly satisfying. And, ah, whoa. Mm, beautiful. I'm just going to outline the logo.
All right, so let's fill in the dark part of the logo. I know this is your favorite sound in the world. Let's, let's just um, amplify the sound for people so they can really enjoy it. Ah! Goddamn sticky! All that's left to do is the yellow bit. I'm gonna grab my yellow. And just go straight in there. Let's go over the whole thing. In fact, stuff it. It's gonna get a nice big brush. Let's just do this with flair. Whoa, boy. Oh my. Way! <laughs> that's really cool. Might do another layer or two of this. And then when it's fully dry, I am going to varnish it. Here it is, my Skittle artwork. I mean, in the comments of King of Random's video where they made the me artwork with Skittles, they, they pinned the top comment, your move, Jazza. Well, <laughs> joke's on you, because I got moves. <laughs> My quads! I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I think this turned out pretty damn well. And look, nothing against your artwork. It was pretty good if you're into like paint by numbers. Oh! <laughs> but I created something completely authentic from scratch. And I did two people. You did one. Oh, sh where did this mic come from? Oh, I dropped it. Whoops. Jokes aside, this is a really fun, unintentional collab. And in this instance, I'm pretty proud that I managed to make two things I'm incredibly proud of. One, a way to paint with Skittles, and two, Skittle cereal. I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. You know, some more videos over there you might enjoy. It. Otherwise, uh, make sure you hit the like button and the notification bell and, and all that stuff. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you later.